In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, as we enter in the presence of the Lord, as we begin this new day, let us take a few moments to thank the Lord for all that He has done for us. We see that right from the time of our birth till now, there have been many instances or events where the Lord has worked wonders in our lives. He has guided us, He has protected us, He has shown us the way, helped us to overcome challenges and difficulties. And in this way, we can identify Him guiding us all through our lives. But there are occasions wherein we find it difficult to recognize His presence among us. We find it difficult to identify the blessings and the graces. And here we see that it is in these occasions that we need to especially ask the Lord to give us the grace that we may be able to identify those graces, those blessings in our lives. And therefore we see that the first thing to do is to be grateful to the Lord for all that He has done. And therefore, as we begin today's morning prayer, let us begin on this note of gratitude. Let us ask the Lord to help us identify His presence in our lives. And therefore, let us begin by thanking the Lord for all the things that He has done for us. Lord, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for giving us talents, opportunities and various gifts that enable us to become better persons and also that enable us to reach out to others and make a difference in the lives of others. Lord, we also want to thank you for the gift of our family members, friends, relatives, near and dear ones, and all those who play a very important role in our lives. We see that it is these people who have been instrumental in making us who we are. They are the ones who have devoted their time, energy and effort. And as a result of it, they have molded us and they have made us better individuals. So today, Lord, in a very special way, we ask you to bless all their endeavors and give them all the graces that they may require in life. We also thank you, Lord, for giving us the gift of this day, a day that would help us in many ways to appreciate the good things that you have done for us, a day wherein we may complete some thing that was left behind or a day that may present to us various challenges. Whatever be the situation, Lord, we ask you to be with us and guide us. Allow us to be led by you. Lord, we also thank you for the opportunities, for the experiences that you have given us in life. There have been many experiences wherein we have enjoyed and these are the experiences that we want to cherish in life. But this, at the same time, there have also been those experiences and those moments wherein we have found it difficult to accept them. These are the experiences that have been learning experiences. They have taught us a lot in life. Though they may have been hard, bitter, but still they have given us a valuable lesson. They have made us stronger. And therefore, Lord, we also thank you for those moments which have helped us to become strong, which have helped us to become better individuals. And Lord, we also thank you for giving us opportunities to reach out to others, to make use of our talents. And thus, Lord, we ask you to be with us, guide us throughout this day. Lord, allow us to be led by you so that whatever we do, our actions, our words, 
may reflect your love, joy and mercy to the world around us. Help us to become your instruments so that you may work in and through us. And therefore now, my dear friends, let us all close our eyes at this moment and let us praise the Lord that he has woken us up in this morning. We thank him for the good health that he has given us, for the good night's rest. We thank him for keeping us safe and sound, for protecting us from all danger, from all harm. He has kept us in his love. And at every moment we see that his gaze is upon us. He never abandons us. He is always there, guiding us, protecting us, showing us the right path. He loves us. And for all this, let us praise him. Let us thank him and let us glorify him. Lord, as we offer you this day, we ask you that you be with us. Help us to make the right decisions. Help us to do the right things so that we too may become worthy instruments, that we may be worthy workers in your vineyard. And therefore, my dear friends, let this day be a day of joy and blessings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And today, in a very special way, we shall reflect on Psalm 62. As usual, we shall have a general overview of the psalm and then we shall take a look at some of the important verses in detail. Now, we see that Psalm 62 is a psalm of trust and once again it is attributed to David. It emphasizes the importance of finding true rest and security in God alone. Now, the psalm can basically be divided into four main sections. Now, the first section includes verses 1 and 2 and this is a declaration of confidence in God. In the second section which spans from verses 3 to 4 we see a critique of human power and trust in worldly things. So basically what happens when we place our trust in the things of the world? So here we see that the psalm tends to critique this attitude of humans. The third section is a reaffirmation of trust in God's steadfast love and this we will find in verses 5 to 8. And finally in verses 9 to 12 we have a final exhortation to put our trust in God and God alone. And therefore overall when we take a look at the psalm we can definitely say that this Psalm 62 presents a powerful message of trust and confidence in God. It challenges the reliance on human power and worldly possessions and therefore it points to God as the ultimate and the true source of salvation, strength and security. And therefore the psalm will encourage us to do something that is right. The psalm encourages a posture of waiting silently for God pouring off one's heart before him and finding refuge in his presence. And therefore it also serves as a reminder to ultimately put a whole trust and faith in God and God alone and God will take care of the rest. And now let us go into the detail of the psalm. Now verses 1 to 2 goes like this. Truly my soul silently waits for God. From him comes my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. And here we see that David begins by expressing his unwavering confidence in God. He declares that his soul silently waits for God and he recognizes that true salvation comes from God and God alone. And therefore, we see that David will acknowledge God as his rock, his salvation and his defense. And thus, we see that David affirms that God will help him. And because of this, David will not be shaken up or be distressed by any external circumstances or he will not be affected by the things of the world. In verses 3 to 4, 
it goes like this how long will you attack a man you shall be slain all of you like a leaning wall and a tottering fence they only consult to cast him down from his high position they delight in lies they bless with their mouths but they curse inwardly and in this second section we see that david criticizes those who rely entirely on human power and those who place their trust and faith in worldly things and therefore he addresses his enemies and he exposes their deceitful intentions and actions in this way we see that david points out their hypocrisy and he warns them of the impending destruction if they continue on the same path and we see that he uses quite a powerful imagery comparing them to a leaning wall and a tottering fence something that will eventually come crashing down now in verses 5 to 8 go like this my soul waits silently for god alone for my expectation is from him he only is my rock and my salvation he is my defense i shall not be moved because in god is my salvation and my glory the rock of my strength and my refuge is in god trust in him at all times you people pour out your heart before him god is a refuge for us once again we see that the image of the rock is quite strong here for david rock as a shelter rock as something that will protect that will preserve from harm and therefore we see that david reaffirms his trust in god's steadfast love and faithfulness and therefore he encourages himself and others to wait silently for god alone recognizing the true salvation glory and strength come from god alone and therefore david calls for complete trust in god at all times emphasizing the importance of pouring out one's heart before god telling god everything whatever is happening within us and then in the final section verses 9 to 12 go like this surely men of low degree are a vapor men of high degree are a lie if they are weighed on scales they are altogether lighter than vapor do not trust in oppression nor vainly hope in robbery if riches increase do not set your heart on them god has spoken once hence twice i have heard this that power belongs to god and here we see that in this final section david will exhort his people to put their trust in god alone rather than in human power and wealth and therefore he highlights the fleeting nature of human accomplishments and the importance of setting one's heart on worldly things and therefore here we see that we need to place our faith and trust in god and god alone david affirms that true power belongs to god and emphasizes his attribute of mercy and we see that david concludes by emphasizing the just judgment of god that god will reward each one according to his work and therefore my dear friends as we reflect on this psalm let us look at a verse or a thought that would have probably touched us or inspired us let us remain with this thought with this word allow it to take root in you and as we spend a few moments in silence let this psalm become part of you so that whatever actions and words that you may speak all may reflect the peace joy and mercy of god
O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys and sufferings on this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. Let us pray for the intentions of the Holy Father for the month of December. For persons with disabilities, we pray that people living with disabilities may be at the center of attention in society and that institutions may offer inclusive programs which value their active participation. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Act of Contrition O my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended Thee, and I detest all my sins because of Thy just punishments, but most of all because they offend Thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of Thy grace, to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit and they shall be created and you will renew the face of the earth. Lord, by the light of the Holy Spirit, you have taught the hearts of your faithful. In the same Spirit, help us to relish what is right and always rejoice in your consolation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for Priests Gracious and loving God, we thank you for the gift of our priests. Through them, we experience your presence in the sacraments. Help our priests to be strong in their vocation. Set their souls on fire with love for your people. Grant them the wisdom, understanding and strength they need to follow in the footsteps of Jesus. Inspire them with the vision of your kingdom. Give them the words they need to spread the gospel. Allow them to experience joy in their ministry. Help them 
to become instruments of your divine grace. We ask this through Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns as our eternal priest. Amen. The Breastplate of Saint Patrick I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through a belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the Creator of creation. Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left, Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit down, Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of every man who speaks of me, Christ in the eye that sees me, Christ in the ear that hears me. Amen. The Angelus, the angel of the Lord declared to Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for St. Joseph's Protection O Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so prompt, so strong, before the throne of God, I place in you all my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your Divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that, having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name 
and kiss his fine head for me and ask him to return the kiss when i draw my dying breath saint joseph patron of departing souls pray for me amen prayer of thanksgiving god of all blessings source of all life giver of all grace we thank you for the gift of life for the breath that sustains life for the food of this earth that nurtures life for the love of family and friends without which there would be no life we thank you for the mystery of creation for the beauty that the eye can see for the joy that the ear may hear for the unknown that we cannot behold filling the universe with wonder for the expanse of space that draws us beyond the definitions of ourselves we thank you for setting us in communities for families who nurture our becoming for friends who love us by choice for companions at work who share our burdens and daily tasks for strangers who welcome us into their midst for people from other lands who call us to grow in understanding for children who lighten our moments with delight for the unborn who offer us hope for the future we thank you for this day for life and one more day to love for opportunity and one more day to work for justice and peace for neighbors and one more person to love and by whom be loved for your grace and one more experience of your presence for your promise to be with us to be our god and to give salvation for these and all blessings we give you thanks eternal loving god through jesus christ we pray amen pray to the garden angel angel of god my guardian dear to whom god's love commits me here ever this day be at my side to light and guard rule and guide amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father 
and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Litany to Mary, the Loreto Litany Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of the Church, pray for us. Mother of Mercy, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother of Hope, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother Most Amiable, pray for us. Mother Admirable, pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Saviour, pray for us. Virgin Most Prudent, pray for us. Virgin Most Venerable, pray for us. Virgin Most Renowned, pray for us. Virgin Most Powerful, pray for us. Virgin Most Merciful, pray for us. Virgin Most Faithful, pray for us. Mirror of Justice, pray for us. Seat of Wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our Joy, pray for us. Spiritual Vessel, pray for us. Vessel of Honor, pray for us. Singular Vessel of Devotion, pray for us. Mystical Rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of Ivory, pray for us. House of Gold, Pray for us. Ark of the Covenant, pray for us. Gate of Heaven, pray for us. Morning Star, pray for us. Health of the Sick, pray for us. Refuge of Sinners, pray for us. Solace of Migrants, pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. Queen of Angels, pray for us. Queen of Patriarchs, pray for us. Queen of Prophets, pray for us. Queen of Apostles, pray for us. Queen of Martyrs, 
pray for us queen of confessors pray for us queen of virgins pray for us queen of all saints pray for us queen conceived without original sin pray for us queen assumed into heaven pray for us queen of the most holy rosary pray for us queen of families pray for us queen of peace pray for us lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world spare us o lord lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world graciously hear us o lord lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world have mercy on us pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ let us pray grant we beseech thee o lord god that we your servants may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body and by the glorious intercession of the blessed mary ever virgin may be delivered from present sorrow and obtain eternal joy through christ our lord amen prayer to saint michael the archangel for protection saint michael the archangel defend us in battle be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil may god rebuke him we humbly pray and do thou o prince of the heavenly hosts by the power of god thrust into hell satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls amen act of adoration o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine saint jetrud pray for souls in purgatory eternal father i offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son jesus in union with the masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory for sinners everywhere for sinners in the universal church those in my own home and within my family amen may the divine assistance remain always with us and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen